The economy is going to be so incredible. Your families will be on the street. Authority during the, the economy is going to be so incredibly vicious. Your families will be on the street. Authorities, uh, institutions will lose all uh, credibility very quickly. Authority will fall. There will be ragtag group of militias that will be guarding and distributing resources. There will be nowhere to run. You are not going to be able to utilize public transportation, planes, trains. Your automobiles will be set on fire by bands of angry children looking for food. You are going to be scavenging, trying to make the most out of what you've got. You'll be eating out of garbages. Mm -hmm. You will choose friends based on who you perceive that you can trust. This is going to change. You'll wake up in the middle of the night and they will be rifling through the food that you have decided it was going to last you guys a week. They're going to be stealing water. You're going to have to execute some of them in front of your own children. You're going to have to make people scared. You will not be able to access any medical care during this time. You're going to have to get good at minor surgeries, performing them on yourself and your children and other members of your group. You're going to have to learn to fish, to grow, to live off the grid. You're going to have to become familiar with agriculture, storm patterns, irrigation. You're going to have to do all of that. And while you're doing that, you can listen to Jennifer Aniston or Jason Bateman. So at least you'll still have entertainment during this period of darkness. It will be like the Noah's Ark flood. <laughs> Not everyone will survive, but just know that while you are out there struggling, you will be able to listen to Courtney Cox talk about fun things that happened on the set of Friends when actors could afford to live in New York City, nobody had AIDS, and they met one black person. 